Are you ready for some good news? You're worth more than you can imagine. Here's today's text. It's from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing, every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Ever seen the PBS hit program, The Antiques Roadshow? The TV series reveals real stories about ordinary people and their antiques. Folks bring old furniture, artifacts, and memorabilia to the experts to find out their item's worth. Most of the time, Grandma's old chair is just that, an old chair. But sometimes the experts reveal amazing price tags for folks' old stuff. Claire is one of the best examples. About 30 years ago, Claire was shopping for furniture at a yard sale. She needed to furnish a little apartment and needed a small table. She wanted a small piece that could fit in a particular corner, but she didn't want to spend much. She found an old table at the yard sale that was the right size. It was mildewed and dark, but she was committed to refinishing it. The yard sale price tag was $30, but Claire negotiated for a sale of $25 and took her little table home. When she began stripping the dark varnish, she discovered that the table was made of beautiful mahogany and even featured some inlaid craftsmanship. After owning the little table for 30 years, Claire took it to the Antiques Roadshow for analysis. The expert appraisers grew wide-eyed when they saw it and informed her that her little table originated in the federal period and was crafted by two of the era's greatest cabinet makers in Boston. This piece you have here is one of the finest they ever made. Look at the intricacy of this inlaid wood. We're so glad you didn't try to refinish it. <laughs> the appraisers estimated it would be worth as much as 300000 Claire sold the yard sale table as an, at an auction for $490,000. What would happen if you found out a $25, yard, $25 yard sale table was actually a masterpiece worth a half million dollars? You'd protect it, feature it, set it apart. You'd tell others about it, praise it, and celebrate it. When a soul isn't affirmed, the message is clear. There's nothing about you worth celebrating, telling others about, and setting apart. In other words, your yard sale table, but when you meet Christ and you begin to get revelation from His Word, you find out who you really are. You're the one valuable enough for Jesus to take the cross. You're the masterpiece, and God gave His all to get you back. And that's the Gospel. Well, that is today's daily devotional, and if you'd like to learn more about what a masterpiece you are, go get the whole broadcast. You can find it. It's free at sharingthelight.org.